Now, before we add our countdown clock, I just want to show you guys that I actually had a, my screen zoomed in. So if you have it on 100%, and if I'm trying to make the screen better, bigger, you can see over here that our form in line is working, right? And also our media query for a button is working, right? Because I can see that for the, a smaller screen, the button is 100%, and for, for the smaller screen, it gets back to a, over here, this form in line where we just have a little bit of margin that we set actually for them to be apart. And over here, you can see that now for the smaller screen, it's actually spanning all the way across. Now, what I also did over here is I added this height for the section to be actually look a little bit better. So you can see height for this section over here for the whole thing is going to be 73 EMs. And I just added over here a padding uh, to the top also and padding to the bottom 5 EMs. So those are things that I just noticed and I just corrected them, right? So now we're ready to get our countdown clock. So again, we go back to our good old friend Google. And over here, I'm going to say countdown jQuery plugin, right? And once you open up the page, you will actually going to be able to see. Well, not really. I mean, countdown jQuery plugins, let's say 20, because that's the website that I want to show you where you can actually get that. You can see over here, 20 amazing jQuery countdown plugins, all right? So we click over here and you can you can choose a lot of them. However, what I didn't like about uh, some of the other ones that let's say these ones were nice, but they you have to actually pay for them. And then some of the other ones, I just didn't like how they look. So finally, I set settled down with this D, DS countdown, all right? So we just click over here and you can see that we're gonna have our documentation, right? And again, as always, we just need to actually download it, right? Or we have a download, which is I already did. And again, we're just interested pretty much in two files. We have a this uh, DS countdown GS, and we have a DS countdown CSS, right? And this is obviously what we need to add in our script. So the first thing what I want to do is actually add a JavaScript over here. And again, I already downloaded it just to save time. So over here, if we go back to our HTML, HTML file, you can see that if we actually create over here, I created a comment and all the way in the bottom in our body, we're just going to add this. But you can see that it is already sitting within my uh, JavaScript folder. So what I need to do over here, I need to include the path. So I'm just going to say GS over here like this, and this is going to be countdown, right? So I'm just going to save this. Then the next thing that I want to do is actually add this div. This is going to be our clock. So I'm just going to copy and I'm going to go over here. And you can see over here that it's sitting in between the paragraph, right? So we find where is my paragraph. So in between a uh, the paragraph and the form, you can see that I already added a div counter, right? This is going to be the div that they're asking uh, me to actually add. This is going to be a countdown. And after that, what I would want to do is actually add a CSS, right? So I'm just going to copy this again, and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go to a my head, and you can see I created a comment here, D DS countdown. So I'm just going to paste this, and again, I just need to create a path because you can see that it's sitting in my CSS. So here what we do is we go a CSS, then it's going to be DS countdown CSS. Again, we're just going to save it. And the last thing that we need to do is obviously add this script, right? And for this script, I actually created this code GS, right? And I pretty much copied this, right? So what you need to do is create a code GS over here. I mean, you can name obviously your file however you'd want. Basically what you need to create a file with the JavaScript extension and just copy this uh, information over here, right? And the next thing that I wanna do is actually connect it to this file to my page. So I'm gonna go back to HTML. And what I wanna do is actually uh, link them, right? So here I have discount, and here I'm gonna say that I want a script, and a script is gonna have a source, and the source obviously is gonna be a GS, or here like this, and then I'm gonna uh, find my code GS, right? Again, I could have just copied these script tags, like, right? So just select this all and just copy to over here. But I mean, it's better if we just create a separate files, right? So if we save this over here, well, not over here, but if we save it over here, 
should actually have already a clock, right? So now I can see that my clock is working. And obviously, uh, it doesn't have yet any kinds of uh, animation or anything like that. So we need to actually add that for our page. But for now, let's just check it out what we have uh, regarding actually a CSS and everything else, all right? So now that we have our clock, I just want to show you a couple of things that we can do, all right? So we have over here this discount GS over here, and you can see that it has a pretty much a information about everything, right? We can actually think close this out because we don't really need this anymore, all right? So we can close this one out, and now we have our clock and everything working, right? Now, within this GS file over here, right? One of the things that you can see right away is what kind of themes you can have, right? So if I here, if I write black, right? And we're just gonna save it and we refresh, right? Then this is, And once we press actually black over here, once we read black, you can see that my clock is actually going to be black, right? And obviously I can have it a, let's say, flat. So again, I just save it. You can see that now it's going to be flat, so we're just going to stick with the red. But I'm just showing you where you can actually change that, right? This is going to be our DS count on GS, and we're just going to find where are the themes, right? And if you want to check out those themes, you actually go to a discount CSS over here. DS countdown CSS, sorry. And this is pretty much all the themes, right? We have a white theme, we have over here a black theme, and we have a, let's say over here, a red theme and a flat theme. So those are all the themes. And if we want to change something, we can actually do this in a DS uh, countdown GS, right? So we're just going to close this. And the last thing that we want to do is actually over here, we want obviously add this kind of zoom in or some kind of property, right? So what we would need to do is we would need to go over here to our HTML first, and we would just need to add a couple of animated and WowJS classes, right? So we're gonna find where is our countdown, and we're gonna say that this is gonna be a wow, and this is gonna be a zoom in over here like this, and then we're gonna say that after it's a zoom in, we're going to say that data, let's say wow delay over here, wow delay is going to be, let's say something like, I don't know, 9.2 seconds, right? And after that, we're going to say that data wow duration again is going to be, let's say something like three seconds. So data wow duration is going to be, sorry, four, four seconds over here. And after that, we're going to say that, uh, this is going to be pretty much it. Oh no, that the data wow iteration is going to be infinite, right? So data wow iteration, right? So this is pretty much going to say infinite 
infinite or you know like this and just refresh and see what we have right so we have a wow we have zoom in and we have our countdown clock that's going to be infinitely zooming in right so you can see what's happening right the only thing is probably what we want to do is we want to uh, add some kind of uh, paddings or margins in between them, right? So we can go back to our, actually, to our uh, CSS over here where we have our CSS, our main CSS. And we can just go find, not DS countdown CSS, main CSS. And let's say all the way in the bottom, we know that we have a class countdown, right? This is going to be our div. And we're just going to say that this is going to have a margin bottom, I don't know, like one or two EMs, right? So two, two EMs, right? So now it's actually everything that's pushed aside. And of course, guys, if you want to add some extra paddings or borders, that's really up to your personal liking. In this video, we're just pretty much going to be co we covered uh, what, what would be the ways how we can actually do that. And this is going to be it for this video, guys. You can check it out over here that it looks exactly the same over here like this. And what we can always do is actually make it on a bigger screen. So we're just going to make it over here. And now I can say this is going to be for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And let's just zoom in over here last time. And you can see that everything works, right? So for the third time, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.